Here's a little slap happy. <laughs> so the kids are doing piano lessons here in Kansas City and they are loving it. Caleb is practicing so much. The little girls were playing dress up and they needed some dance partners. Oh, she's up on her tiptoes. She's spinning around. So one of the things we need to do while we're here in Kansas City is go through all the kids' grow-in boxes and see what they're gonna need this next year, what they fit, what they don't fit anymore. We're gonna start with this box. Those no. ones look like they're still gonna be a little big. This is Isaac's old favorite one. I've always been a big fan of grow-in boxes. Obviously they save money, but it's really fun for me to see the clothes that we already have memories with. How's it feel? Good. There's a great play outfit ready to go. So Caleb's actually been going through the box really well on his own. He's made piles of don't fit, like they're not gonna fit him this year. And then this pile is things he already grew out of that are size five. And then this is the pile he needs to try on. That shirt's awesome, I loved that one. Thanks. Yeah, you remember it? Yeah. feel to be back home to our piano. I love it. Like you can actually control it. I have like a lot more space. It's so much fun. I love this song. What are we doing this afternoon? A service project. Who planned it? Me and Isaac. So this afternoon, Isaac and Elise and I and a bunch of our friends are serving at Harvesters, which is our community food pantry. Isaac and Elise actually planned this service project. The first one that they've ever planned, we obviously were helping them with the process, but they were inspired by that service project we did a few weeks ago at Giving the Basics, where their friend planned one. What we did is we researched together and looked at a few of the different nonprofit organizations where they could volunteer. They chose it, set up the time, and then we invited our friends. Pretty simple. Step one, wash your hands. So was it hard to organize the service project? Not really, you only had to find out a time when people were available and then make an appointment to do it. Yeah. At the food pantry, they have a lot of donated food here. So we're going through the oranges, getting rid of any that aren't good anymore. We're putting 10 in each of these bags and that way it can be distributed to the people who are needing the food. Nine. One more, then you get to tie it off. Ten. So is this very fun? No. That's what I had to do. But is it fun to be with friends? Yeah. So while Isaac and Elise and Kendra are off doing the service projects, I'm here with Caleb, and we're still going through the shirts. Whoa. As you can see, we still have a lot more. It's kind of cool that we have hand-me-downs. Yeah. I had an older brother. Which one is your favorite shirt that you're getting? A lot of these are like Isaac's old favorite shirts. Mm -hmm. In older videos, he'd wear these a lot. And now they're yours. Yeah. Ooh, is this a new vest? Yeah. Looking sharp. So we're sorting through the oranges and we have to pick out all the moldy ones and repackage them. Oh, it's yeah. kind of gross. <laughs> These are all the bags we have to fill. All of them. Just kidding. Do it. <laughs> Just kidding. That would be so many oranges. Okay, this is two hours of sorting oranges. The kids are being troopers. They're finding ways to make it fun. I don't know if we're gonna be craving oranges by the time we leave here. Someone woke up a little bit grumpy from her nap. You okay? Gonna snuggle? 
Do you want to read books? One dog. Woof. Two dogs. Woof. Yep, 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 yep. Five dogs. It's a little stinky too. And one cat. Ooh, the best and the tie. It's pretty sharp. Daddy. So we're going on a tour of Harvester's facility now, and one thing they explained is that they need six to 7,000 volunteers a month to be able to do what they do here. It's amazing. Okay, you play it. Well, I'm really proud of Isaac and Elise for helping organize that service project, and it was a fun thing to do with our friends. It was interesting during the tour because we heard about so many different things that you can do at Harvesters, so now I want to go back and volunteer so I can try all the different things. It sounds really fun to pack up the backpacks with the snacks for the weekend, and it sounds really fun to sort through the bins so you get to pick out of the bins that have been donated and put them all in the right category. Anyway, there's lots of different ways to volunteer there, and I really appreciate that way of spending time with our friends and family. Today's playing whack-a-mole with Caleb. All right, Caleb has challenged me now to battleship. All right, what do you like about this game, Caleb? That it is a battle. It's very strategic. Yeah, B5. Miss. I'm gonna try B5 on you. Hit. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. <laughs> you playing, Nene? She's putting the little pegs on. This reminds me of Star Bright. What's that? Night, night. Just pop in the colored pegs and follow the patterns. It's easy to make beautiful pictures with Light Bright. It's a toy where you do art by putting pegs that light up. F3. F3. Miss! All right, let's do B4. Did I hit? Miss. Yeah, man. Did you sink my battleship? Yeah. You stinker. Uh, whoops. So Janae is definitely in the stage where she wants to do everything herself, especially putting on her shoes. You gonna put your socks on? Make one. Nay is strong. Look help. Do you need some help with that? Okay, there's one sock. Okay, you gonna put those shoes on? Do you need some help? No, Nay does it myself. Nay does it herself. We're on like attempt number seven. Nay trying it. Nay's trying again. Janae, do you want me to help you? No, Nay got it. Nope, Nay got it. <laughs> this one goes this way. Yep, that one goes on that foot. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Did you get it? She got it! Look at that perseverance! She got it! Keep trying, Nay. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> you did it! Janae did that, guys. Janae put on her own shoes. High five! Proud of you. You ready to go? Yeah. So we just discovered a little spider. Oh, daisies! I thought you were gonna sing to it, Janae. <laughs> okay, the reason I turned the camera on is right. she's so uh, cute sitting here singing "Itsy Bitsy Spider," and then she just stomped on that thing. Itsy Bitsy Spider. When I was at the store the other day, in the clearance section were some fun noon games, and so I picked up one that we tried last night and we really liked it, but I can't remember the name of it. Okay, play. 
It's called OK Play. Yep. OK, just play. All right. You're up, Laura. Laura makes the first move. Dun, dun, dun. So the goal of the game is to get five in a row, either straight in a line or diagonally, and there's no board. You just play. Is Janae playing for you, Jeremy? I don't know if I have a choice. Oh, that was a good move, too. I make a core. <gasps> <gasps> oh, no, you yeah. stopped it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, come. She just gave you the win. Good game, dude. So I love that this game was super easy to learn and everyone can play. Laura wins it. Five in a row. Boom, boom, boom. Good job, Laura. Boom. She was winking at me. Did you know you were going to win? So playing games as a family is really fun, but it's also really hard. Maybe it's just our family and our kids' ages, but taking turns is hard and losing is hard. Watching other people win is hard. So that's something that sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't know if I feel up to playing a game, but it's really important for the kids. Like I know they need this practice to be able to learn it and we have some really great experiences. So I like that this game was quick and easy. Since it's quick and easy to play, we can play it over and over again and hopefully lots of people get practices winning and losing and taking turns. Go ahead. We put the kids over there. Kendra are eating over here. It's like a romantic date night. So Isaac and Elise both got soup, which is fun. Soup? Soup? So these are cheese curds. They're special to Culver's and they're really good. Fried cheese. I'm a fan. Mom, not ready. You like those? Laura just told me, my chicken nuggets have cheese inside of them. No, those are called fried cheese curds. I love the soup. It's amazing. Those are good. Yeah? Yeah. There you go. I like invented a lot of different kinds, oh. like using the flavors. Uh-huh. Um, and we want all of them except for the bottom one. Oh, okay. Really? That's really <laughs> Okay, what sizes do you guys want? We're gonna do all smalls. Kendra just asked which one he's most excited to try. Uh, it's hard between Elise's, oh, yeah. yours, and dad's. <laughs> I think Half of them. Elise's. Iron Man. Yeah. Watermelon. Lemon and coconut. Lemonade. Sweet. Polar banana. It's banana and coconut and vanilla almond. Is it cool to see your dreams becoming real? Hey, bud, you wanna try it? <laughs> There's the Wolverine. It's black cherry and grape and something else. And silver fox. And silver fox. Nice. I love silver fox. Frozen pink. So it's strawberry, coconut, cotton candy, and bubble gum. Yum. Tell us the flavors of yours. Oh! Cotton candy, blue Hawaii, and lime. Janae's is called Bird Pea. Named by Kendra. <laughs> so mine is gorgeous. It's called Coral Reef. Isaac, look at it. Look it how looks it coral reefish. Yeah, it does. So everyone's trying everybody else's. Is that Elise's? Yeah. Really she good. likes mine better. Caleb has eaten a lot of mine. He likes the banana flavor. After trying all of them, which one was your favorite? Tropical Crunch. But yours was really close. The I mean, banana polar bear. Yeah. So Elise's Iron Man was my favorite because I love watermelon. Nene's all done. She's cleaning up now. So one of Kendra's superpowers is picking books for our kids. We just went to the library and drove up. They have the drive through library and all the kids are like loving whatever books you picked for them. So I love that about Kendra. It's such a blessing to our life. Well, we took baths, got our jammas on and getting ready for bed. A tootie tot, a tootie tot, a tootie tot tot. <laughs> you did it! <laughs> you didn't take a very long nap today. I think you're a little slap happy. <laughs> Let's go on the and say boo! <laughs> so we're starting a new read aloud. It's called Dominic. I've never read it before, so it's new to the kids and me, but it comes well recommended. We'll see. We're on the third chapter already. And how are you kids liking it? It's amazing. Amazing. I love it. It's so interactive. Like it'd say, what would you do if you're in this position? Or like, oh, that's cool. Which road would you take? How fun. <laughs> it's 
funny because it's been recommended to us for a while, but let's be honest, it didn't look super exciting. I'd never read it before and it just always looked a little boring. And so I was talking to the kids about that and we started singing that song from that movie. What's the movie called? Mary Poppins Returns. Mary Poppins Returns. Check this out. Ready? A cover's not the book, so open it up and take a look. Cause under the covers, one discovers that the king may be a crook. Shacks to tie, if there are like signs in it, you <laughs> You'll find your first impression was mistook. Yellow la for a cover is nice, but a cover is not the book. That's awesome! Good night, Jay House out. It freaked me out! The boys found their first code. How are they supposed to get through the end here? What? 